How's it going, everybody? My name is Nick. I also go by Golden Guy, and I'm your coach of the Philadelphia Pincers, and we're coming back to you with another UMPL Draft League matchup. We're heading into week three, and we are taking on Coach Incog and his Backs to the Future. Absolutely an epic name, epic logo. We're looking forward to, take, uh, to taking him on. Incog came in and took over for a coach that had to drop because of personal life reasons. Um, he played his first match uh, last week and with the team that was already there. And then he made some transactions to make that team more applicable to his play style and whatnot. And luckily, luck of the draw, we get to play the team that he decided to pick up from scraps uh, first. So we don't really have any insight into how he likes to play that team or whatever. So we just have to go in blind and see what we can do to help pick up the dub. All of that being said, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, tell us what you like, tell us what you don't like. Um, I'm trying out a new team builder layout this week, so hopefully you like that. If you do, give me a thumbs up, show some support. If not, let me know what I can do better. I mean, I'm just trying to make the best content that I possibly can. Uh, if you didn't tune in to last week's match against uh, Kurt the Buzzwell, I'm about to ruin the results and three two one we did take an l on the season our first l uh, we lost 2-0 to a gouging fire sweep unfortunately but we are looking to bounce back and hopefully we can get that done today all of that being said let's jump right in to the matchup and this is what the teams look like it's my team versus incog's team as always you can see his mons down on the on the right obviously or down below and then mine on the left so he's got access to that sand core in excadrill and tyranitar excadrill great sand abuser has that base 88 speed so it's really difficult to outspeed even with choice scarves on a, on our faster mons but hopefully we can do it um access to things like earthquake rock slide uh iron head has access to rabbit spin can set up rocks if it needs to and yeah, it just does extra real things. Can be Sand Rush, can be Sand Force, could also be Mold Breaker if he, I don't know, for whatever reason, thinks that Sand is not good into this matchup. Something to watch out, we ha we can see if it is Mold Breaker when it comes out on the field, because it will pop up and tell us. Next up, he's got Latios. Latios hits like a damn truck. It's specially defensive, specially offensive, but it could also be physically offensive with a Dragon Dance setup set. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a Choice Scarf Lottie, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, has Luster Purge got a buff this generation in which its uh, base power is now, I think, 95, so it's stronger than Psychic and it hits 100% accuracy. Um, drops Special Defense, if I remember correctly. This thing can run the uh, Luster Orb, I think is what it's called which boosts its dragon and psychic type attacks. It's pretty awesome. Next up is Tyranitar. This is the Sand Setter. Uh, yeah, Tyranitar got access to knockoff uh, with one of the past DLCs. And it's what Tyranitar always does. It can set sand, which boosts its special defense. It can Dragon Dance set up on you. It can just hit like a truck. It can eat hits. It does Tyranitar things. It can set up rocks if it wants to, and it has great utility pool and things like Thunder Wave as well. Then he's got Greninja. I don't like going against Greninja. I always struggle with it for some reason, even though I prep for it. Um, I think Greninja can be Battle Bond or Protean. I will make sure of that before the match actually starts so that I can gauge that. Battle Bond will boost its attack, special attack, and speed by one stage if it picks up a KO but it can only happen once per battle. Great all around, it can be physical or special. Uh, great move, pull coverage, decent speed stat as well, as far as our team is concerned. And it can run things like specs. It could be banded if it wanted to, life orb, expert belt, so on and so forth. And we just have to watch out for that ability. If it's protean, then we can see what type it's gonna change into. We don't really have to worry about letting it pick up KOs, but we can try to gauge that as the battle moves on. 
Then he's got Thunderous Theory Inform. This thing special attack stat is off the charts. Pair that with a nasty plot setup and I have zero switch ins. So we're gonna do our best to see how we can mitigate that. Um, if it does get a nasty plot boost, well, my strats go out the window as far as what I want to do with it. We're just going to have to hit it hard with some priority in order to keep it out of our face. Then he's got his first Terra Captain, Monkey Dory. It's one of those new mons from the uh, Teal Mask DLC. And it, it's strange. It has access to Frisk as an ability. It has ask, access to Toxic Chain as an ability. And then it ha it's, it's able to Terra. It, it already hits like a truck, but we're going to let it Terra too? My goodness, but it has uh, access to Terra Psychic, Fairy, and Flying. Uh, I think Fairy is the most optimal for, against my team. I don't really see Psychic or Flying coming to this matchup. Fairy is definitely the most optimal, optimal, given that I have the Dragapult and the Sneasler. They can help it take a, a physical move. I really don't want to hit a Poison move if I hit the Terra Jet. And Samurai as well. Then he's got Whimsicott. Whimsicott is one of my favorite Prankster users. Uh, it doesn't have to be used as a normal Prankster mod, throwing off those uh, statuses and whatnot. It could just be Prankster Encore, Prankster Tailwind. Uh, has access to Moonblast. It doesn't really, it doesn't hit super hard, but it can take you by surprise when it does hit you. Then he's got Delphox. I think Delphox would be a lot scarier on this team if it were a Terra Captain, but it's not, thankfully. Um, Psychic Fire type, pretty strong on the special side, can flame charge uh, speed boost and then just start going in with some special attacks. Could Specs Overheat if it wanted to, I'm not bringing Colossal, spoiler. So it could definitely do that. Um, we'll just have to find our way into the battle if we have to deal with that. Then he's got Phalanx as his second Terra Captain, a uh, Fighting Ghost and Steel Terra Typing. Phalanx, I really, I would love to see it come to the match because I've never seen it in a draft match. Has access to no retreat, which means it gets an Omni boost, and then, but it can't switch out after that, so it's just in to take hits and deal hits out. Um, if that comes, I'm anticipating probably a Terra Ghost, if I had a guess, or potentially a Terra Steel. My team's not super weak to fighting, so I don't anticipate that one as much. Then he's got Swallot, Swallot. I like Swallot as a grounded poison type. It gets access to toxic spikes, so it can and it can absorb toxic spikes. It can set up if you're not prepared for it. Um, and yeah, it could just go that way. It can also just throw off toxics if it wants to, and we'd have to watch out for it. We can't underestimate Swallot in this matchup. And then last but certainly not least is Vigoroth. I play with Vigoroth whenever I play Ranbath sometimes, and I absolutely love getting it. Everybody underestimates it. This one's Terra Normal, Terra Stellar, or Terra Fire. I do think that normal makes a lot of sense. I can just hit things outside of the uh, Dragapult on my team. Terra Stellar, maybe it wants to, maybe he wants to bring that just for the views. We'll find out. All of that being said, let's go over my team and what I'm bringing, why I'm bringing it. I guess before I do that, let me talk about what I anticipate my opponent to bring. I think it's going to be the Excadrill, the Tyranitar, Probably the Latios, the Greninja, and the Thunderous. That last slot, it could be Monkey Dory or Whimsicott in my opinion. I, so I do think it's a very top heavy team, but we'll see when we get into the matchup. So, for my team, we are first rocking out with Perona, coming with a different set, I guess. Dragon Dart, Sucker Punch, U-Turn, Will-O-Wisp, Rocking that clear body ability. Clear body means that he can't run like a scarf uh, monkey dory and potentially try to parting shot out because stats won't drop and I can just try to hit it for what I can. We are rocking 252 attack, 160 special defense, 96 speed, jolly nature, and a Culberberry. This outspeeds everything that's not scarfed. Dragon darts just hit pretty hard outside of Whimsicott and a Terra Fairy monkey dory. Will-O-Wisp is for those special attackers like Tyranitar, Excadrill, uh, potentially Greninja, Vigoroth, so on and so forth. Colberry allows me to take a knockoff or a Dark Pulse from threats like, uh, sorry, um, 
Tyranitar, Greninja, Thunderous, so on. And then Sucker Punch allows me to hit things that are going to be naturally faster than, or not naturally, but boosted faster than me, like a Scarf Lottie, a Shadow Sneak, Greninja, um, the Excadrill and Sand if I need a little bit of chip for something, and then U-Turn is obviously there for momentum. Then we have Golduck. Jimbei's coming back after a week one, where he put in the finest of work. We're playing weather, I'm bringing Cloud9. It just seems to work out that way. Maybe maybe when we play Rain, we'll bring uh, Swift Swim instead. But for now, we're going to be bringing Cloud9, Golduck. Rock and Surf, Ice Beam, Psychic, and Trailblaze. It hits everything on the team relatively hard. Uh, we are Terra Water this week, in case we need to hit something a little bit harder with a Surf. We are rocking 80 defense, 252 special attack, and 176 speed with a modest nature. Oh, and that says expert belly. That should be an expert belt. Apparently I fat fingered the keyboard. Um, outspeeds, adamant phalanx, and a jolly T-tar with just natural speed. Uh, at plus one, so from the trailblaze, we will outspeed all non-scarfers or, or any speed boosted sets. And we just threw the rest in defense. We Oko a Tyranitar from Fool if we Terra Water and Surf. We slow down the Excadrill and Sand and we can hit it with a, either a Trailblaze into a Surf or something along those lines just to take it out. Ice Beam's there for the lot. We take a hit from Greninja and then we can Trailblaze up and then potentially take it out with a Surf or no, after that. Monkey Dory is the biggest issue for this. I don't really switch in well to it, and I just need to get some damage off on it. If he's Terra Flying, Ice Beam works for it. If he's Terra Fairy, I can't really. I can hit it with a Surf, which is fantastic. Um, Whimsicott, Ice Beam get, hits it. Surf hits the Delphox. Psychic is there for the Swalot and the Phalanx, and then we can just hit Vigor off pretty or, or relatively hard. Our next member of the team is none other than Enel, the Kilowattrel. He's come to every single match this week, much like the Dragapult has, or this season, much like the Dragapult has. This time we are running a Choice Scarf set. This outspeeds everything on the team, barring Excadrill and Sand. Uh, we're rocking Thunderbolt, Air Slash, Terra Blast, U Turn. We are Terra Water, and we are Volt Absorb this week. Volt Absorb is to help deal with the Thunderous a little bit better. Obviously, the Thunderous has access to Bolt Absorb, so we cannot hit it with Thunderbolt, but we can just U-turn on out of there. And if we don't Terra with this and we end up tearing with the Golduck, then Terra Blast can still, it's, still hits relatively decently. Uh, 24 HP, 252 special, special attack, 232 speed. Like I said, Kilowatt Rot speed the entire team, barring Sand Drill. Uh, Terra Water is there to resist Water Shuriken from Greninja. It, we can kill... Uh, Delphox and Excadrill and do a good amount of damage to Tyranitar with uh, Terra Blast, Terra Water. Um, we can't really touch Thundee very well, like I said, but that's okay because it can't touch us well at all outside of maybe hitting a Psychic. Next up is Jozu the Metagross. Rocking that Bullet Punch, Knockoff, Earthquake, and Ice Punch. Clear Body is there because it's better than Light Metal. Uh, 244 HP, 252 special, or 252 attack, 12 speed, adamant nature with an assault vest. This is our dedicated switch into Latios. Uh, we don't, we'll take less than 50% from a Shadow Ball from Latios, and then we can hit Knock Off into Bullet Punch to KO it. Um, adamant nature hits everything pretty hard. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> We have, we're a decent check into Monkey Dory as well, and we have a little bit of speed, so that 12 speed is there just in case, because we're trying to creep a Tyranitar that is creeping us. Fifth Mon on the team is going to be Zora the Samurai, rocking that Ceaseless Edge, Sacred Sword, Sucker Punch, and Razor Shell, and the Sharpness ability. 156 HP, 252 attack, 36 speed, or 36 for death, 64 speed, Jolly Nature with the Wakan Berry. So that Wakan Berry, with the rest of our investment, allows us to live a Thunderbolt from a non-spec Thunderous. 
we can Sleaseless Edge it or Razor Shell it and then knock it out on the following turn with a Sucker Punch. That's what's going into that. Um, 64 Jolly allows us to outspeed a Max Jolly T-Tar if we have to deal with it and we can hit that then hit it with a Sacred Sword and knock it out from there. Sucker Punch hits thing, hits also the Lottie, the Monkey Dory, Greninja, so on and so forth, just to get some chip in case we need it. And then last, but certainly not least, this is the Mon that we hope to clean the game up with, and that is Raju the Sneasler. She's coming back for the third week in a row. Hopefully she can avenge herself after last week's debacle, and I admit that was all me. Didn't really get much to do last week. Rocking that Dire Claw, Close Combat, Night Slash, and Endure with the Unburdened ability. Ooh, I did not change the stats on this slide. This one is 252 attack, adamant nature, enough speed to outspeed um, Jolly Vigoroth. And then after the Unbooted procs, we outspeed a Scarf or Battle Bond Greninja, which means that anything else that is Scarf, we outspeed as well. We de we also outspeed and well, we don't outspeed an Excadrill in Sand, and I'll talk to you about that wh about why in a second. We have the Lychee Berry on Raju this time coming up, and we are Adamant Nature. We Oko the entire team once we get that Lychee Berry proc at plus one. Between Dire Claw, Close Combat, Night Slash, we do that, and so we just have to get Sand to go away first. Because if I endure on an attack to proc this Unburden and the Lychee Berry, I don't want Sand taking me out. So we have to get Tyranitar out of here first in order to for this plan to pop off. That's the team that we're rocking with this week. I hope it works. I hope it's full of fun and surprises. And I hope we can pick up a dub on Incog and his Backs to the Future. We'll be seeing you in the matchup, guys. Alrighty, looks like we're connected here with Incog. And we're gonna get this match on the way, guys. We said good luck, have fun in the chat, and he decides to not bring the Thunderous, which is not great. He does bring the Swallot, and he brings the Whimsicott. No Lottie? Oh, absolutely insane. I don't know if that makes me more scared or less scared of this team. So let me get these two dudes right here. Okay. I could see a lead Swalot here, which means that Metagross can deal a little bit better with it because it doesn't have to worry about Lottie as much and it can also deal a little bit better with Monkey. Um, Kilowattle's pretty free. So is... Zoro. Yeah, let's just re lead Zoro off rip. The Wakam Berry's not going to do anything in this match, unfortunately. Okay, so we got Gren, Excadrill, Titar, Swallow, Wim, and Let's lock in Whimsicott and Monkey and get this batch on the way. Good luck, uh, Incog. Have some fun. I'm honestly super shocked at some of the things that are not there, but I'm sure they there are things here that can absolutely decimate me, so we're going to have to play around those. In comes Gren Simmons, and that's going to be the Greninja. Okay. So, let's see. I forgot to load all of this into Calx, but we can just do some quick things right here. Grass Knot will kill off Rip um, if he is Specs and Protean. I'm just gonna go straight for a Cecil's Edge. See what else that U turn comes out, and he is Protean. That does a whole ton. Is that a crit? No, it doesn't look like a crit. Okay, so we see U turn. 
Excadrill is the only, um... What do you call it? The only spinner on the team. See if the sledge comes off. We do some damage. And Rocky Helmet. Alright. So we don't get our spikes up, unfortunately. Good place, good place. And... We go down to Rocky Helmet. Okay. Uh, Samurai Rocky Helmet on Wim. Alright. I am going to just hard out into uh, Kilowattro here. So Gren, you turn into Samurott. He's banded for sure. Banded. Oh yeah, that was banded damage for sure. Okay. I'm just going to up and U-turn right here. See what he wants to do. Okay. So we see protect. I'm still just going to U-turn and get Samurai off of the layout. Good play so far by my opponent, and we did see protect. Okay, so let's slow down. Let's think about this some more. So we know that Gren is probably choice banded. I would assume. Swallow comes out. Choice band run. Take into attack. I'm just gonna go out to Jozu here. Monkey, he's Black Sledge? Okay. Um, what was I looking up? Draft off. Okay. So, we do have Swalla out in front of us. We're just getting bodied right now. I do think that Metagross can do fine here. I don't really want to go for an Earthquake. I can just go for knock off just to get some damage off and see what this swallow wants to do okay so he is sticky hole Thunderway is not going to do too much I'm not too worried about that we have no speed on this and it looks like we're the slowest thing outside of T-Tar Okay, and now I can just Earthquake, see what he wants to go for. So that knockoff's still going to be doing a good chunk to him over time. It doesn't look like he's uh, super physically defensive, like max HP, max defense. Um, based on that calc, I still want to figure out what that Gren set was. The ninja, respect. He's just switching around on like that's not fun. And we get paralyzed. That's always fun. Okay. Choice. Yeah, I do think that um the Greninja is a physical set. So we could just mm, it's sitting 
Where are you sitting? Probably about 80%, which so I'm just going to ice punch here for some damage, see what he wants to do. Okay. Friend Simmons comes out. Let's see, what do we take from a Night Slash? 252, Choice Band. We should still live. I'm going to knock off here. And just try to... Yep, Night Slash comes out. We should still live. And we get paralyzed. Can't win for nothing in this, but it's okay. It's okay. I think I'm ready, honestly, just to sack this all and go for a bullet punch for some damage. Oh, thankfully we did not get paralyzed. This will do a good, decent chunk. And Bren picks up a kill on Metagross. Night Slash, and I do think it's banded. Okay. I'm gonna go for Raju here. And just go for this back. Let's see. Dire Claw kills, but then he can switch into the um, Swalla or the Monkey Dory. Night Slash will not kill. I think. He doesn't kill me here. I'm gonna go out into, I'm just gonna pull a hard switch. Okay, so he stays in. Fantastic, oh my god. I'm getting so outplayed. A bandit, okay. Maybe he's expert belt then. Okay, not bandit. Tyranitar comes out. I'm just going to U-turn here. go out into build up. I'm sure whatever he decides to go for will do a lot of damage. Weather disappears. Crunch comes off and it does down to 135. Yeah, that's about right. 
Um, I'm gonna tear water and go for surf. I'm probably the whimsicott coming in. No, okay. So, tear water. He's 252. Attack. Maybe he doesn't have spadef. In which case, we should be able to kill with a Terra Water Surf here, unless he's like Pasho Berry. Surf comes off. Should be able to kill. Ooh! Barely lives. What is that roll? Damn it. I am getting demolished. I'll go out into the Dragapult here. And just U-turn on out. Once the cock goes down. Okay, so he decides to switch out. In comes, no, when's the cock does not go down. I wanted to take a look. So I'm just gonna U-turn on out. Helmet, of course, obviously, we know that. And we can go back out into Kilobotron. We're just getting body bagged this game. Holy crap. Man, this is rough. He's playing really well, and I'm just playing awful. So there's always that. I can. He probably just opts to go for a protector, to be honest with you. I'm just gonna air slash. If I were him, I would go for a protect. And next turn, I'll check the sand turns. Oh my goodness. I'm getting so outplayed, and I think my team builder is going to be longer than the actual match. Memento. Hell! I have clear body! Oh my god! When's the cot goes down to itself, so at least it's not a 6 0. Fuck. Hell, man. Good plays. I, can, I honestly cannot complain. I, I can, but it it just sucks. Oh my goodness. He's playing really well. I can't do anything about that. And it was, looks like Sand went away. He does see the Choice Scarf. And knows that I'm locked into Air Slash. So now... I'm just going to Air Slash for damage. He probably goes out into Tyranitar if I had a guess. And with that, he goes out into Tyranitar, sack off the bird. So we get a flinch. No. So, Monkey Jory to kill a washer. Let's see. You a soul vest? Yeah, he's a soul vest. Which means that Sneasler has a chance. It looks like this guy's assault vest. So Sneasler has a chance. Um, uh, who died? Kilowatchel died, and Monkey Dory picked up a kill. Keychar picked up a kill earlier. Night Slash coming out. No, he's Scarf. No. Oh man, I'm dumb. Oh my. Oh, I played so bad. Did I? 
342. No! My sets messed me up. I should have just endured there. That sucks. Okay. I, I mean, I, I lose. There's nothing I can do to about this. And let's see if you... I'm gonna, just gonna go for Dragon Darts, is all I can do. Are you, are you fairy? Okay. Switch out. That's yeah, cool. Monkey Dory picks up another kill because I'm a dumbass. Oh, my, I'm so tilted. Hmm. Dragon Darts comes off. At least Dragapult picked up a kill. Guitar goes down, but sand is up. I should have just if I but if I endure there, then it really doesn't matter. I just messed up my EV spreads for that particular situation, and I'm just playing awful, absolutely awful. I'm going to burn you. Or at least I'm gonna try. Earthquake comes out. Choice man? No. Okay. I mean, that's all I can do, really. <laughs> uh, GG Incog. Played well. Oh, here comes the Lumberry. Good job. Me. T Tar picks up a posthumous kill. No, he doesn't. Okay. And I'm just gonna throw off the Sucker Punch because I can. Next to Joe picks up a kill, a Dragapult goes down. Oh, that was awful. I think it my guys off the layout because they don't even deserve to do that. GG Incog, you played well. I played absolutely awful. I think my team builder was longer than the actual match. Um, we really got to bounce back, guys. He, he played out of his mind. He was scouting things. I don't know where necessarily I went wrong. Maybe I prepped too hard for the Latios and the Thunderous and didn't give as much prep to the uh, Whimsicott or the potential Swallow to come. Um, there's no way that I switch in my Dragapult into that Memento to take it, so I'm not even going to say that. He, play, he played better than I did, that's all I can say. GG, my guy. Uh, hopefully I can bounce back and see you in the playoffs and give you a better representation of what we are about here at the Philadelphia Pincers. But with that, I'm going to sign off. My name's Nick. I also go by Golden Guy, and I'm your coach of the Philadelphia Pincers.